Lights, cameras, chaos. All right, we're going to dive into the weirdest story that has ever come from the thrilling world of horror. Well, at least recently. And this time around, it isn't the horror film on the screen. It's actually what's happening behind the scenes. So buckle up, because we're in a real messy haunted house in a metaphorical sense. It's called Scream 7. Oh, and this isn't a typical culture video either. You'll soon find that out. I love horror movies, so here we go. All right, now let's imagine Scream 7 as a horror roller coaster with more twists and turns in a script than a, a snake on, a, on caffeine. We've lost stars, directors, and any sense of stability. The Haunted Hounds thrill ride is, uh, well, haunted by actual production nightmares in this case. So this is a real production hell playing out in the public sphere, which, well, is something that doesn't happen all that often. But we need to go through the top three reasons Scream may be dead. And let's pick out one that, well, maybe will allow it to survive. First, the new queen of Scream herself, Nev Campbell. Well, she's open to returning, but under the right circumstances. Show me the money. Show me the money. Which, translation means, a la Jerry Maguire, show me the money. But hey, truly, uh, Nev has a point here. She's been carrying this franchise on her shoulders for years now, with uh, only the occasional uh, heavy lifting done by some new stars. It's time to actually pay this girl what she actually deserves, because she does deserve it. And now let's look at the reasons it could be dead. Let's start first and most importantly with Christopher Landon. That's right. He's supposed to be the director, and he bailed faster than you can say boo. He called Scream 7 a dream job that turned into a nightmare. That's not a headline you want to read. And I guess directing a horror movie is a little bit more terrifying than actually being in one. And just when we thought the ship was, well, beyond sinking, uh, the director promptly went and sunk it. Reason number two, that this is probably dead. Well, Jana Ortega, the rising star who's made her name in a lot of places, including Wednesday, said she won't be returning for Scream. Well, why? Well, because, well, she's filming Wednesday. That's part of her schedule. Netflix, that sly dog, decided to, well, foil the opportunity for her to make another appearance in the franchise. And, uh, well, maybe that's for the best. Although I think stealing the best Scream queen since Nev is a real problem and a bummer for us fans, it might actually help Jenna's career. And now we get to the third reason, which is Melissa Barrera, who got axed over some social media posts that I certainly won't argue with. Uh, well, I won't argue with her firing. I would definitely argue with some of the posts she made, but Spyglass actually fired her and called her anti-Semitic. What was Barrera's response? Well, she made a strong condemnation of hate, which I think everybody could get on board with. Well, mostly. Anyway. But here's a plot twist. Uh, she wasn't fired for supporting, well, some bad actions, just for the tism thing. And let me tell you, pretty good reason to get fired. Of course, that's kind of a plot twist, but not really. So now we're at the big question. Is Scream 7 dead in the water? Well, we're missing leads, a director, and uh, Nev Campbell's phone is not ringing. So are they waiting for the controversies to settle down? Because seriously, this isn't a regular film. This is a slasher movie. There's no need for secrecy. None. You don't have to be, you know, cloak and dagger about this. You don't need to consult a round table of intelligence advisors. That's not this kind of movie. What you should do is get a 13 year old kid in a room, have him watch all of the other six films and maybe a few other horror movies on top of it and have him spit out an idea because there's a good chance that a 13 year old kid will have a better idea than anybody in Hollywood right now. Oh, and of course the last dangling hook that I keep, you know, talking about, the one that's just up in the air there is Sydney Prescott's return. Nev Campbell's on standby. She's waiting for the call and the paycheck, but she's not the only one waiting. I mean, there are fans out here practically begging for the next Scream Fest. I mean, did you see the box office of the last couple films? Producers, look, Stop ghosting Nev, give the fans what they want, bring on more Sydney slashing, and uh, well, <laughs> they'll fill up your wallet for a change. Scream 7 is a horror story both on and off screen right now, as I mentioned throughout this little video. And if you don't like the energy and the tone of this one, then well, I'll have to try to tone it down for future horror coverage and maybe some other things I get really excited about. No matter what kind of film, stars dropping like flies, directors jumping ship, and well, a big star waiting for the grand return is very messy and uh, messier than facing 
uh, ghost face in a dimly lit hallway. I would say it's time for somebody to reach out, call Lillard, and say, hey, we need Stu pronto. That'd be a big win. So, what have we learned? Uh, Hollywood horror goes beyond what you see in the movies, uh, oftentimes. Uh, it's contract schedules, controversies, and a lot of waiting, which I don't think us uh, horror fans want to do. Despite the fact that anticipation's part of the thrill, and I really like the psychological horror. Those are my favorite. Hmm. Let's just say, I hope Scream 7 delivers, and they actually make it, because that'd be good. So, grab your popcorn, dim the lights, and binge your way through Scream 1 to 6, because whether it's on the screen or behind it, you know, Scream 7 is sure to entertain you. Uh, are you in or are you out? Let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, see ya!